Good morning, Central Baptist Church family. We're in Proverbs chapter 13, and today we're going to be talking about friendship. Friendship, something that all of us need, uh, but something that necessarily all of us are are good at, uh, per se. Because sometimes we get a little too desperate for friendships, and we end up in friendships that aren't good for us, that aren't healthy. And Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, explains that for us. It says, in verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. There are plenty of other Proverbs that kind of allude to this truth, uh, but I like how it's worded here. Basically, you are influenced by the people that are in your life. Whoever your friends are, whatever their personalities are, whatever their interests are, it's going to affect you. And those things are going to become your interests. Those things are going to become your habits. Those things are going to become part of your personality and you're going to adopt their same character traits. I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase guilty by association. I'm sure you have. Um, it's a it's a common old adage. Um, but basically, who you hang around with, you become. Um, and if your friends are people who are known for trouble, if your friends are people who are known for doing things that are um, disrespectful to authority or, or breaking the law or just being bad people, um, then that's what you're going to be known for because you're guilty by association. That's just because peer pressure is strong. The influence of your friends is much greater than I think we give it credit for. Um, some of the craziest things I've ever done in my life were because of my friends, my peer pressure. Uh, when I was in college, actually, the, the one time that I ever skipped school, uh, skipped class, was with friends. It was uh, We had our, our reasoning and our logic for it, and we skipped class one day because a couple of my friends were like, we're going to explore these tunnels in downtown Oklahoma City, and we did. Um, uh, the one time that I stayed up all night uh, past curfew and, and snuck out of the dorm was because of my friends. We had built a giant snow fort, which again, the school officials didn't know about, and we spent the night in it. We literally got sleeping bags and we built the, this cave in this, this whole snow fort uh, out by one of the security shacks, and we actually slept in it uh, for several hours, and we woke up freezing to death and, and ran back into the dorms before uh, everyone else was supposed to wake up. And uh, But all the craziest things I've ever done in my life were because of peer pressure. Um, now those are fun memories for me. Those are funny stories. If I, re you know, when I recollect the things that we did and, and there were good times, we didn't do anything that was destructive necessarily. But if my friends were constantly leading me on this path of rebellion against authority, and that was something that we were consistently doing, um, then that was going to be something that was going to affect me for the rest of my life because those are my friends. I was allowing them to influence me and guide my decision making, and I was doing the same thing to them. I was, I was part of the decision making process. We we can't just step back and say no, no, I'm guiltless. Uh, my friends do bad things, but not me. No, no. If you're involved in the relationship with those friends, you're just as guilty. That's the whole point, and that's why it's so important that we have good, healthy friendships. We need to evaluate all of our friendships. We need to make sure that we are walking with wise men so that they will make us wise. You need to make sure that you have friends in your life that are pushing you to be a better person, that are pushing you to challenge yourself, that are pushing you to be uh, more upright and righteous before God. Those are the kind of friendships we need to have. We don't need friendships that are only encouraging us to be uh, less holy or less serious about the things of God uh, or less obedient to authority and less respectful. We need to make sure that our friendships are positive peer pressure. We need to make sure that we're evaluating those. And, and for parents who might be listening to this, it is okay and highly encouraged to choose your kids' friends. Uh, as parents, we can see, you know, my, my kids are so little, they don't, they don't know the influence their friends are having over them, but I see it. Uh, and my kids are highly influenced. I can see how they'll act and talk like certain friends that they hang around and certain people. And I have to control who they hang out with. I have to control who they spend time with or how much time they spend with them. Uh, because I know the influence it's having on my children and I don't want negative attributes from other people to influence my kids. And so it is okay to say, no, listen, you can't spend that much time with that person because they have a negative influence on you. You are too easily swayed and they are influencing you. Um, we just got to make sure that we are controlling the influences in our life. We can't think that we're strong enough to be able to withstand a bad friendship. Um, God knows us and that's why he put these instructions in scripture because he knows how influenced we are by peer pressure. So make sure you have good friends.